Hello guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over all of the information about Flora Bell. We're gonna talk about the characters. We're gonna talk about what I think about the character because I'm pleasantly surprised. I know she was gonna be good from the trailer, but I, she is really good in my opinion. And she has a lot of hidden uh, buffs and hidden uh, qualities that maybe you guys didn't uh, didn't notice yet. Okay, so I'm gonna like tell you all I all I know about it and everything everything we know about it and everything I think she's gonna uh, excel at. And then we're gonna to make maybe pull maybe I don't know. So. I am to the point where she's Mythic at the moment. I need two more copies for Mythic Plus. I am 10 away from one copy. So at that point, I would be just one away from Mythic Plus. And why do I want to go to Mythic Plus? Because Mythic Plus unlocks a really good portion of her kit and makes a lot of synergies appear. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and check quickly. Well, not quickly, but swiftly uh, her all of her skills and talk about it a little bit so all of her skills besides overgrowth so tiny sharpshooter and pounding blow basically are dedicated uh, to summon the minions and they have a multiple function on the same skill so they have a passive and an active and a, another active in case something else is happening in the game so first of all let's go ahead and talk about the tiny sharpshooter which is the skills that uh, spawns swifty swifty is the archer uh, which is going to be a ranged unit obviously summoning in the back and she has a six style attack which is almost full range i believe if not full range i think it's almost full range depends when where florabel is so keep that in mind and by the way florabel is a physical warrior surprisingly a little bit i thought she was going to be a marksman or a mage uh, she's a warrior it doesn't really matter it only matters that Personally, my warrior roster doesn't have the best gear at the moment, so she is a little nerfed at the moment on my account, but I will uh, fix that uh, as soon as possible. Now, going back to the tiny sharpshooter, after she summons Zwifty, as you can see, they inherit a little bit of uh, her attack and HP, depending on who they are they have different approaches like for example Swifty deals more damage than the others but she has uh, less HP gained from Florabelle like the scaling right it's a little less so she's squishy but she deals more damage also when you cast Sharpshooter again with Swifty on the field she is going to do her special skill which is rapid fire unleashing eight arrows at random targets each dealing 70% damage now these eight are going to be really uh, eight arrows going to be really really good damage on on the uh on the and singular enemies such uh, for example the uh the dream dreamland bosses gonna be really good damage there but it might be a little bit of a downside if you are doing like pvp and you trying to focus down some guy she does the rapid fire and the rapid fire is gonna be randomly attacking characters around the arena which is still fine still damage but you know, like this might be uh, seen as a little bit of a downside, but not that big of a deal, to be honest. And we'll know why in just a little bit. Now, if she dies, uh, they don't die. They just get defeated momentarily, go back into the pod and come back after a couple of seconds, like eight seconds in this case. And I think it's 10 seconds in um, for Smashy. Uh, but yeah, so by increasing this with your level of the character, you will also get higher stats, higher damage, and higher, higher uh, attack scaling, okay? So that was Tiny Sharpshooter at 8 seconds cooldown. Now, this is Overgrowth. Overgrowth is the buff that she applies to her minions. Uh, it's uh, they, they become a giant for 8 seconds, then it becomes 10 seconds and level 191. And they gain, whatever, whatever she, whoever she buffs, 60 haste and 60 life. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can go here and click on I, go down and click on the life drain to check what it is it says that every point of life drain restore hp equals to one percent of the damage dealt and which basically means that if you have 60 life drain you have 60 percent of your damage converted back into your hp now if you go to click haste it says that the haste every point is a frequency of the unique normal attack skills by one percent and attack animation speed by one percent this if not stated otherwise will be uh, the way it works but for other characters such as tamasia this uh, gets overridden by uh the 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 ult but in this this is not the case so we're chilling on haste now we're going back the buff we know that when multiple petal are on the field the skill targets them in order smashes with the spiny so it's going to be uh, Smashy first because she's a stronger unit, Swiftly, Swifty, which is the one the highest attack, and then Spiny, which is the, the brawler of the team, okay? Speaking of Spiny, Spiny gets automatically spawned whenever you start the fight from the passive of Pounding Blow. If she inherits a decent amount of HP, almost the same amount of HP as Florabelle, but she deals 
close to 50% of Flora Bell's damage uh, with normal attacks. Spiny retreats when defeated and comes back in uh, after 10 seconds, like the others. The, I mean, uh, a little a little slow, but yeah. Now the active is when she summons Meshi. The first trigger of, of the of pounding blow summons Meshi, which is a really really good unit. It's a big, the strongest unit that she has. Uh, deal 300% damage to all adjacent number uh, enemies. Slams down, knock them, knocks them into the air. Another buff, another quality for, of the character. In my opinion, do not under underestimate the value of CCs. She is also a wilder, so you you, you could actually do uh, benefit Arden as well if you like to play Arden with the CC and the ult, right? So that's really important. And then. Smashy herself has 220% Florabelle's max HP, so she's double HP, and then she deals a little more than Florabelle's damage uh, with normal attacks. Now, Smashy takes, though, 100% extra damage when under control effects, so you really don't want her, don't want them to be under CCs on any, on any circumstances. So it might be a little bit of a counter, but we have a solution on Supreme Plus that we're going to check in a little bit. Now, with the levels, you also get a level 3, it's important, because level 2 is just a normal attack increase uh, for Spiny. And then level 3 is when all three Petalias are on the battlefield, Summon Smashy will instead trigger a coordinated attack, dealing 400% damage in a wild, in a wide three tiles area, knocking them into the air again. Now, this is really important. It is, I think it's more important than some people might think, because doesn't matter where they are, so your units, if they're not dead, they're going to be around in, in the fight, right? They're going to be like spine, it's like on the other side of the screen, uh, Swift is, 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 is close to you, uh, Smashy was summoned like on the other edge of the arena, on like west, right? So this makes them all teleport back to one designated location. If you're playing yourself or whatever the AI chooses, they come back. So if they are stuck or if they are about to die or if they were like in a weird and shitty position, in that case, they get teleported back and now they... After they do the slam, they all there. So from there, they scattered again. They scattered again. Again. So that's important to think about because that could be a reposition uh, plus for the character because you can reposition your your uh, your petalia, right? It's I think it's I think it's a plus in my opinion. It could be good in arena or PvP or whatever that is like weird terrain. Now, let's go ahead and click the Hero Focus. Hero Focus is just for her and her summons. She gets 10% during battle. This oh, this helps a little bit, especially if you max it out with time. I'm at the moment trying to save a little bit for the Mythic Plus weapon. Uh, so, I also have Tora Mythic Plus now, so I need to get him to uh, his weapon to 5 at least as well. So, I'm, 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 I'm a little low on these at the moment. Now, Flora Bell Attack is uh, inherently good because they the other Petalia scaled with her, with her attack. So if she has more, they have more. So basically we are reading more damage for everybody uh, that Flora Bell spawns as well. And for six or eight percent, if two of her summons are on the battlefield, which is most of the time, if unless you're getting overwhelmed because the enemy is extremely strong and you can't beat it yet, uh, this not probably not going to trigger because they're going to die immediately. Otherwise, this is always there, right? So now we get to the gist of it, the good, the good portion, the juice, right? Protective blessing is is where it's at, and this is this is kind of huge because the way this is worded, and I'm I'm assuming this works, is that grants natural blessing to allied summons upon their entrance, their entrance to the battlefield, providing them with a permanent shield capable of absorbing damage equal to 280% of Florabelle's attack. Now this shield is not super big, but is this skill can be activated once every 0 0.5 seconds. 0 0.5 seconds. So every half of a second they get the shield, which makes them extremely tanky. Extremely tanky, in my opinion. Also, the, I, I am thinking that this could also mean that if you play her with Cecia, Mr. Clyle, Clyle, I think, I, I, don't remember, I don't remember how it's called, but the, the golem that she does might be affected by the protective blessing as well, because this doesn't specify if she is only doing that for her minions or everybody, because this says allied summons, and Mr. Clyle, I think it's called, Mr. Clyle is uh, an ally summon, right? So if this works, Cecia just got a super buff, right? 
So it's really important to check this one. I kind of want to rush Mythic Plus, but it is what it is. Uh, we have 23 days to get the character. It's fine. We don't have to hurry too much. But that was just the unlocking, right? And now we get to the level 3, which is almost also pretty good. Now on, you know, the exclusive equipment, right? A level th a level 5, you get like, uh, this. The, the shield is bigger. And a level three, which is a level a level three exclusive equipment, which is achieved at level ten, you uh, feeds the allied summon with the highest attack with an unripe petal plum when Flora Bell casts overgrowth. This transforms the summons into a giant, increasing her haste by uh, their haste by twenty seven and thirty two. So I'm assuming it's further increasing, right? Because this is like sixty and sixty. This might become uh, eighty seven and ninety two, right? If that's the case, that's really, really good. And the unit, uh, on top of the almost permanent shield getting spammed on them, they're going to be close to immortal, right? For that, from when, when they're overgrowth, right? Now, if that wasn't enough, and then 15 is just higher shield. Uh, actually, what? Boost the shield granted by 200% for the less attack. This doesn't, this seems to be like, I don't know if what what's up with this. This is the same number. It might be higher. Uh, maybe it's like 200% more. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of a uh, hazy. Like, well, I don't know exactly what that means. It might be a, a typo. I don't know. Maybe fixed. Uh, just, just so you know, like this might not be the correct number. Now, this is where we get crazy because Supreme Plus basically says that Allied Petalia in their giant form are immune to control effect. So, the good thing is that the order of uh, overgrowth is smashy, swifty, spiny. So, if you play yourself off, if the stars align, you might find yourself in a situation where you have a gigantic smashy that is just supposed to take damage, more damage, uh, if CC'd, immune to CC. So she doesn't, she, like that downside doesn't exist anymore. With a permanent shield getting spammed on her with almost 100% life drain and almost 100% haste. <laughs> so, yeah, right? If, you, if you're not convinced after this, I don't know what else to tell you, but I am enjoying Florabel a lot. I am having a blast with Frolabelle, she looks good, her, her summons are, are insane, she has extreme potential, she can play with Ceci as well. Now, my Ceci is not the best in the world, uh, I, I, I had a, like a cursed account, I couldn't get any Ceci for a very long time, I only got, I think I got one Ceci normally, and then I had to buy everybody else from the shop, and now I am kind of locked behind the next refresh of the, of the arena, so that way I can like buy more, because I, I bought two already, right, so... So yeah, that's that. But if she works with Missile Kyle, it's going to be crazy uh, summoner war again, right? So my Vala is this plus eleven, right? Plus eleven, supreme plus everything, almost everything maxed. Uh, Night Maneuver is not because I need level fifteen, and that's too too expensive at the moment. To be honest, almost everything is maxed. Everything is like almost maxed. Uh, she's supreme plus. She has. She has sixty four thousand percent, sixty four thousand damage, which is uh, double Florabelle, I believe, and she's supreme plus. Florabelle is mythic zero, with thirty two k, and she does. She's not mythic. She's not supreme. Everything is like this is level one. This is level three, three, three. Right. So, I think. She is extremely strong, and she's going to be probably stronger overall. Maybe I mean, so but you can't really out damage Vala because Vala is a rogue and she specializes in one target. But overall, I feel like this is a powerful unit. So it's going to be extremely good in my opinion. Picking it up. So up to you guys if you guys like her or not. I feel like she has a crazy potential, especially after Mythic Plus. Like, those uh, summons are not going to die. If they don't die, then they do more damage, you know? They're gonna, gonna probably skyrocket and, like, snowball a little bit, especially in, in Supreme Plus. Also, keep in mind that those characters, after if you after you get them, or maybe they go away from the banner, they join Standard Banner, which means that if you go here and wish list, they're going to appear here. So, if you go here, now you can see Vala is here. You can, you can wish for Vala here and on this banner as well 
if you do the this one you click now as you can see val over here so you can do that take your time get her to mythic plus first and then slowly get her to uh to supreme to get that control immunity when overgrowth okay so that is it Hopefully, hope you hope you got like a nice understanding of the character. I'm gonna try to progress this. It's gonna be a little a little uh, tricky because they're kind of tanky. But what do you guys think about Florabel? Are you pleasantly surprised? Are you enjoying the character? Did you get the characters? Are you skipping? Let me know what you're doing in the comments. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos about uh, FK Journey. And if you want to see it live, I am live usually on my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Jagazin. So feel free to go there and follow. Or you, if you can join, if you want to join my Discord, it's in the description. So up to you what you want to do. Thank you for watching and see you next time.